Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Alwyn here. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day as always. Couple stimulus updates today, but before we get into those, make sure that you guys do go down below and subscribe to my channel. If you do like seeing content like this, it does help me out tremendously. So let's get back into it. So Nancy Pelosi is ready to move immediately on the $1.9 trillion stimulus package. She stated that the House of Representatives will devote all of next week to drafting the stimulus bill and said that the next bill can be introduced in the House as early as February 1st. The House of Representatives will be working on the stimulus package next week. It is good to see that things are actually proceeding within the House of Representatives. However, keep in mind, it is the Senate where a majority of the issues will arise from. Senate Republican Roy Blunt said that they had little hope for Biden's stimulus plan and suspects that the whole package is a non-starter. He said that they agreed with certain parts within the package, such as funding for vaccine distribution. However, he opposed things like the liberal agenda, which included the $15 minimum wage hike and the $350 billion going to state and local aid in order to bail them out of their current fiscal problems. Biden is in the process of negotiating with senators from both parties, the Republicans and the Democrats, in order to gain more support for his stimulus package. Biden is targeting senators Mitt Romney, Lisa Murkowski, and Joe Manchin. These senators will be working with the National Economic Council director. Other politicians are coming up with their own solutions, however. Republican Representative Steve Stivers said that the next round of stimulus checks should only go to people who receive the vaccine. He said that they would actually buy something with their $1,400, and that would be herd immunity. Voters in Georgia are saying that they were betrayed after they were promised the $2,000 stimulus checks. This is because the $2,000 checks were a critical component of John Ossoff's and Raphael Warnack's campaign. Biden also, throughout his presidential campaigns, talked about getting the $2,000 stimulus checks out the door if the Democrats did win in Georgia, which they did. Voters in Georgia are calling the $1,400 checks a betrayal to the working class. Keep in mind, the stimulus bill is still open to any forms of modification in order to gain bipartisan support. President Biden got right to work after his inauguration on Wednesday, January 20th, signing a total of 17 orders in his first day and 10 of the orders had to do with the pandemic and slowing down the spread of it. Biden will address and resolve the situation with current vaccine shortages. He gave a 100-page plan, essentially, which he called the roadmap to guiding America out of the worst health crisis of the century. Biden will be opening over 100 vaccination centers within his first month in office and expanding the existing vaccine programs in local pharmacies using the Defense Protection Act in order to help the vaccination process. He will also give money to fund schools so that way they can meet all their necessary protocols required in order to open back up. Congress is busy preparing for Trump's impeachment trials. Democrat Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer both want the trials right away. But yesterday morning, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said that Trump should have a minimum of two weeks to prepare for his trial. McConnell says that the former president deserves a full and fair process that respects his rights. Some Democrats agree that the impeachment should be delayed. Many also believe that the first few weeks should be 100% solely devoted to Biden's transition. There are also concerns arising that the stimulus package may be pushed aside and delayed in order for the senators to focus on Trump's impeachment process. But both Biden and Chuck Schumer insist that they can split the schedule to accommodate both issues, the stimulus package proposal and the impeachment of President Trump. The current rules calls for the senators meeting six days a week with only Sundays off during the course of an impeachment trial. This makes it really hard for the impeachment trial and the stimulus package proposal to go on at the same time. Politicians are divided on whether or not Trump should even be impeached. Some Republicans argued that the constitutional laws refer to only the president. Since Trump is no more president, they argue that it is unconstitutional to try him for impeachment. The IRS insists that they are now on schedule for this year's tax season, even though millions of Americans have not got tax returns 
from previous years. The IRS is also still behind on the second round of stimulus checks for $600 after sending millions of payments to closed accounts. I hope you guys all learned something new and enjoyed the video. I thank you all so much for your continued support. I do appreciate it a lot. Make sure to drop a like down below. It does help my channel out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on those post notifications so that way you're aware of when I do upload my next video. Comment down below. Till next time. Peace.